guys welcome to my youtube channel this is Tega's creation with another exciting tutorial so for this tutorial i made this ripped shirt it's very beautiful let me show you how the back looks like so this is the back of the shirt very cute if it's your first time here you're welcome please please subscribe to my youtube channel for more amazing stuff so let's get right into the video so for this shot, I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. This yarn, made in Nigeria, yeye wool, and it's a size three yarn, but it's actually very tiny. So I normally double my yarn and scissors, measuring tape. So let's get right into the video. So now we're going to begin by making a chain as long as your hip measurement. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using using a Measurement of 40 inches for this tutorial. 40 inches that's equivalent to 122 inches. So now I'm going to make a chain of 40 inches. So I'm going to start with a slip knot, then make a chain till you get to 40 inches. So continue making your chain. So I have done my very long chain. So when stretched, it's supposed to give me 40 inches. As you can see, I did one 30 chains, but I'm not getting 40 inches. I'm getting 41 inches. So I'm going to remove like three to four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let me take the measurement again. So when stretched, it's supposed to give me 40. So now I've I've gotten 40 inches so if your hip measurement is 44 45 so it depends on what you want to do you have to measure it to your hip measurement so it depends on your hip measurement if you are lower than 40 you can still measure that so now I'm going to turn my walk towards the front because I'm going to make a slip stitch into the first chain the first chain we started from so Making a slip stitch into the first chain. Make sure you are not turning your work backward. It should be facing front. So now, make a slip stitch into the first chain. Chain three. One, two, three. So now I'm going to work one double crochet into every stitch round. So one double crochet into every chain. One double crochet into every chain as you go just continue putting one double crochet so i've done one two three four five six so continue putting one double crochet till you get to the end of this uh, chain here so i'm almost at the end of this round i have two stitches remaining so one, one stitch is remaining i mean just this one remaining so i'll put my last double crochet so this is how my work looks like one double crochet into every stitch round so now i'm going to make a slip stitch on top of this chain three here one two three slip stitch there now we we'll secure this round so for round two and three we're going to be doing front post and back post double crochet so just watch my hand now you're going to chain three one two three now yarn over don't put anything into this chain three space so this first double crochet here pass your hook to the back pull take it to the first two to the last two yarn over again so this is called a front post double crochet yarn over again pass your hook to the back pull the second your second um, double crochet back pass it out take it to the first two to the last two so that's a back post double crochet so this is going to be our pattern for this round one front post double crochet one back post double crochet one front post double crochet one back post double crochet one front post double crochet one back post double crochet one front post double crochet one back post double crochet so you are going to be doing this round so you get to this last point here i'll meet you when you get to this point so i have done working one back post one front post round for this round two 
so i'm almost at the end i have one stitch remaining this one here so it ended as a front post so there's something i just want to draw your attention so if you start since we're starting with a front post we're going to end with the front post if your own ends in a back post you can just yarn over into this chain three here make a front post there but since my own ended with the front post i don't need to do that so now i'm just going to make a slip stitch in on top of this chain three here chain three repeat this round for one repeat it for one more round of front post and back post before we start the body of the shot so this is the band that we're doing so i'm going to repeat one front post one back post round so that i get to this point so i'll meet you when i get to this point so i'm almost at the end i have one stitch remaining so one front post slip stitch on top of this chain three here so this is our band this is going to be our band so now we're going to start working on the body so for the body i'm going to be using half double crochet why i'm using half double crochet instead of um, double crochet is because uh, half double crochet is thicker because i don't want the short having a lot of space so with double crochet it's going to have a lot of space and your boat your bum can be showing so for the bottom part i'm going to chain two half double crochet into every stitch so yarn over into this first stitch pull up a loop we have three loops on our hook take it through all three so this is an half double crochet pull it out take it through all three so this is going to be our our pattern one half double crochet into every stitch so continue putting one half double crochet into every stitch till you get to this where we started from and we're going to be doing this for the next 20 rounds you can just continue doing it to get to 20 rounds for this hip measurement i'm using 20 rounds but if you have a bigger um a bigger bump you can do it longer than 20 rounds you can go for 25 26 so it depends on how big your body is and how wide your hips measurement is but for this hip measurement i'm going to be doing 20 rounds of half double crochet so i did i'm um, at my 19th round now I just want to show you something i realized i didn't actually explain how to turn your work so after making a slip stitch after going around making a slip stitch you're going to chain two one two then you turn your work like this to the back you're not you're not going to continue moving like this you turn your work to the back like this then continue putting half double crochet into every stitch half double crochet into every stitch so at at the end of every round you're going to chain you make a slip stitch sorry then chain two then turn your work make sure you turn your work don't just go continue like the way we normally do so that you can actually get the quality of this um, shot that i'm making so I'll continue putting half double crochet round till I get to the end. So this is my 20th um, round. So I told you I'm going to do 20 rounds of half double crochet. So just continue. I'll meet you at this last point here. So I'm um, at the end. Now I'm going to make a slip stitch, a slip stitch here. On top of this chain two. So I've gotten my 20 rounds of double crochet and I'm just going to chain a long chain so I'm going to make 15 chains for the bottom parts or the round fly so my chain is going to be 15 if you want a deeper one you can increase to 17 so 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Now you're going to look for the exact middle of our shot. You're going to count 
and get your exact middle of your shorts making sure both legs are equal so now i'm just going to count my own round then look for the middle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen fourteen fifteen so continue counting round then divide it by two after counting round i had one thirty four half double crochet now i'm going to divide that by two so that's 67 so i'm going to count 67 half double crochet then i'm going to mark my midpoint so now i'm going to count the half of your work then that would be where we'll put our stitch marker then we'll attach this our chain that we made so now i'm going to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 100 101 102 103 104 105 106 107 108 109 110 111 112 113 114 115 116 117 118 119 120 121 122 123 124 125 126 127 128 129 130 131 132 133 134 135 136 137 138 139 140 141 142 143 144 145 146 147 148 149 150 151 152 153 154 155 156 157 158 159 200 200 200 200 200 200 200 200 200 200 200 200 200 200 then the half of it that's where you are going to mark so that's going to be our midpoint here so now i'm going to put my hook back into my 15 chains and make a then i'm going to attach it at this point here where our stitch marker is with a single crochet chain one then i'm going to cut off my yarn So you can now remove your stitch marker because we've divided it and we know where our midpoints are. So this is what we have now. So this is our round fly. So now we are going to begin by, you know we made 15 chains, so I'm going to count 7 out of it. Then at a start at that middle point. You know 15 divided by 2 you have 7.5 so we're going to we'll just skip seven stitches then on the eighth stitch we're going to start there one two three four five six seven so this is the eighth stitch so this is where we're going to start from so we're going to make a slip knot now then attach our yarn at the eighth stitch here so if you're using another the, a different measurement you can just put it at the middle of your of your round fly here so now i'm going to chain two then into that same stitch i'm going to put a half double crochet there then what i'll walk one half double crochet into every chain till we get to the last point the last chain so walk half double crochet into every chain as you go please if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please 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 i really need your subscription very badly please just support me by subscribing and god bless you as you do so so at this last chain here i'm going to put half double crochet as well so now just walk continue walking half double crochet we've walked on this chain here so continue walking half double crochet around till we get to this point here when you get to this chain you walk half double crochet the way we did here then we'll make a slip knot at this point so this is going to be our beginning and an end point so continue walking half double crochet around into every stitch round i'll meet you at this other side so continue walking around so i'm at the end i have walked half double crochet around and including the chain i have one more stitch remaining there's one more in this last chain here i'm going to put half double crochet now i'm going to make a slip stitch on top of this chain to here okay 
now I'm going to chain two, turn my work like this, then work one half double crochet round one more time before we start the ripping process proper. So just continue with one half double crochet round for this last round. So I'm at the end of the second round now. I have one stitch remaining. So I'm going to do my half double crochet. Then I'm going to slip stitch into this chain two here. So now this is our front. So this part, so I've decided which one is my front. The back is those part that we join together. So this is my back. So this is my front. So now we are going to start the we're going to rip it now. So since this is my front now, I'm going to chain two. I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to turn my work. So from from now, I'm going to start working half double crochet till I get to where I want to rip. So just look at the way I ripped it. So I'm going to get the middle point of where I want to rip. That's 10 stitches. Let me mark it out for you. I'm going to be skipping 10 stitches. Then I'm going to replace it with chains. So let's say I move like this. So this middle part, I want to rip it. So I'm going to count 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, let me put one stitch marker here. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's going to be at this point here. So from here to here, I'm not going to put anything inside, it's going to be a chain. So that's I'm going to do it till I get to the end. I'm going to be skipping all this and replacing it with a chain. So now I have chained two already. I've turned my work. Now I'm going to do half double crochet into every stitch till I get to the first stitch marker. So continue putting half double crochet into every stitch till you get to your stitch marker. So it depends on where you want to put your ripping. If you want it at the side, at the back, but I want my own at the front. So I'm going to continue working one half double crochet into every stitch till I get to my stitch marker. Okay, I think I'm almost there. Okay, there's one stitch here. So now I'm at my stitch marker. I'm not going to put anything here. So now I'm going to make 10 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is going to be for the 10 stitches we skipped. So I'm going to skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this is the ten. So this is where we're going to put our stitch marker. In this same where the stitch marker is, that's where we're going to put our half double crochet. So this is the space in between. So now you can remove your stitch marker. Then continue putting one half double crochet round till you get to your beginning here so continue I'll meet you when I get to this point here I've worked half double crochet round so I'm at my last stitch here half double crochet then slip, slip stitch on top of this chain 2 here chain 2 so for this round now we're just going to be repeating so when you get to this point here, you put your last stitch here, chain 10, then put half double crochet in this point. So we're going to be repeating it till I get to the desired length I want. So make sure you always turn your work. So now I'm not going to start like this. I'm going to start like this. So when I get here, start like this. So just continue moving it round to... I'll show you how many rounds I did. 
so i did the ripping for seven more rounds so we did the first one together one two three four five six seven so that's eight rounds so in total we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven which one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven round for this leg so now i'm just going to chain one and cut off my end then i'm going to repeat what i did for this leg in this other side so now i'm going to attach our iron from this point here this middle point here and repeat what we did for this other leg so i'll make a slip knot pass my hook chain two turn my walk okay chain two turn my walk then half double crochet into every stitch round so it's just the same thing here So continue putting half double crochet round like this round till you get to this point here so after then you'll do this you can rewind the video and do this repeat side then i'll meet you when i'm done with this other leg then i'm going to make a very long chain for the band to secure the waist so i'm done with my other leg i made my rip on both sides now i did it for 10 rounds then eight rip chains so now i made a very long chain that will go around the band because the band will be too big for the waist just to give it fitting so you just have to pass your band from the front your sorry your chains through this um, front post and back post double crochet stitch so just walk it, move it round inside. Then I'll show you how it looks like when I wear it on the mannequin. So guys, I have weaved in my end. I added this button, and this is how our shirt looks like. Cute, right? Please, please, if you have not yet subscribed, please show me love by subscribing. Let me show you the sides and finally the back this shot is just a bomb like it's so beautiful please please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to support me by subscribing i'll see you in my next video bye